Alright, everybody. Let's continue. Let us continue. Go inside. Alright, guys. Let's continue. Whew. I'm still excited for this. Oh, my God. I'm so pumped, man. So, this is still... Right now, I'm recording on launch day when it barely released on the 360. But right now, we're barely going to release on 360. And I'm recording it on on Wednesday right now. But this video will get uploaded like later on. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. What do you mean? I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job, a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. <laughs> Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. Don't make me feel bad. I think it needs food or something. You think? Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. <laughs> Hold it like this. Aww. Hey. Hi. My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it's not gonna puke. It oh. puked. It puked. Never mind. Never mind. You were right. Gross. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn, she has a good eye and good instincts. Really did puke. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. <laughs> he was a douchebag. Spider Man. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Whoa. So he made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. Wow. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. <gasps> it works! Yes! You got it working. Oh, yes, finally. Get... <laughs> I smell an achievement. Nope. Nope. Seriously? I thought I was going to get an achievement. It God damn it. what I tell you? Jess. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah. Someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? <laughs> Just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. 
goddamn right. Clem, my friend Krista, she told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. Whoa, we can't leave him. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We have to bring him with us. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? Yep. I'm going inside. No, wait. God damn it! You can't just walk away from us! You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Kenny's being a dick. Or a jerk. Let's go with the jerk. He's being a jerk. Kenny. Come on. God damn it. God damn it. That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here. It's me. Clem. Sorry. Just give me a second. Close the door. Why? Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. <laughs> I knew Jane did have to stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike had have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. We got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we going to find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. Okay. Oh, was here. Me too. Say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together and to keep my hair short. <laughs> yeah. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now grown up. Uh, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince them. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. I'm with Kenny, but come on. I don't know if I'm with Kenny. We I think 
I don't know. If we go back, it's there's no chance. Literally. No chance. <sighs> I am scared. <laughs> literally.